Hey there, Justin from You Join Offroad in Colorado here. Uh, it's Friday afternoon, getting ready to send this one back to Texas. Um, so this is a 2022 uh, E450 Mini Winnie 24B. Um, this is, I think in my opinion, this is probably the perfect Class C to do what we do too. Um, no slide outs, really good interior layout, plenty of space, plenty of seat belts for the family. So I think this one's probably about as good as it gets. Um, and I really like the color too that they offer on this with the, the silver. It's actually paint too, which is kind of surprising. Um, so started off with our standard six inch four wheel drive conversion. Um, this one has got a stage two Dana 60 in it. Um, so it's got 456 gears, true track differential in the front. Um, and then we did the spin tech hub conversion, so it's got serviceable wheel bearings still. And we did the black SSBC eight piston calipers. And then we've got a uh, EBC rotor and then actually a uh, EBC yellow stuff pad also uh, inside of there. It's got a really good bite. I really like the way that these brakes feel. So got our standard Pro Comp 17 by nine in the front. And then this is actually a new tire offering from Toyo. This just came out not too long ago. So it's Open Country RT Trail. Uh, the front size is a uh, 285-70-17. Um, it's gonna be a really good tire for the Class C guys that don't necessarily need the Triple Peak Snow rating, but are looking for something a little bit more aggressive than an all-terrain. And they look really cool too. Uh, also got the Bushwhacker fender flares, got the U-joint uh, cab chassis side steps. And it got our FB003 front bumper um, with the uh, adaptive cruise control add-on on the front there. Um, so that's actually a factory forward, forward-facing radar sensor um, that we just adapt onto our bumper. So got the Warren VR12S winch, front receiver, Warren shackles, and the three rigid lights. Uh, blacked out Ford grill with the amber LEDs. And then we've got these super cool custom-made headlights from Vantage Optics. Um, so you can contact him. You can pick whatever color paint you want on the inside of the housing. You can project, pick all the different LED projectors. He's got a ton of options and they're way, 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 way brighter than the factory lights. So highly recommend those guys for that upgrade. Um, and on the inside, this one didn't get our OBA. It's about the only thing it didn't get. So we've got the S-Pod up in the dash. Transfer case shifter there. And then we've got our four wheel drive indicator light buried down in the dash there. We always run the big Hellwig front upgraded sway bar. Um, it's got custom shafts, front and rear. Um, this got the uh, NP1128S transfer case. And then we've got our direct link rear sway bars in the back, Fox 2.0s all the way around. And we reuse the factory sway bar on these shorter ones. Um, the rear, this is our new standard on the Class C's, the, the 17 inch Dodge steel wheel that we have custom machined. Um, and then around that, we wrap a uh, 255-80-17 on that same RT trail. So plenty of dually clearance there. These have been working out super good for us. Um, got our 450 rear bags also. Plumbed into just standard uh, Schraders in the rear bumper. Um, this one got a big custom rear bumper on the back also. Just to mount the spare tire on this one. And we use the 4x4 tube. So you still have your black water drain pipe and storage inside. And we got the D-ring shackle mounts there also. So you can actually use this as a recovery point. Still clears the door in the back. And then we've got the additional little step there to get up to the rear ladder. That's about it. So be on the lookout for this thing down in Texas. This is a super, super cool rig. He'll be out on the beach. 
Um, if you have any questions um, about getting some work done here at the Colorado location, you can email me at justin at youjoinoffroad.com. Um, if you're looking for a DIY kit, email Chris in North Carolina at chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Thanks.